Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septera 18. I hope everyone is doing well. I have here um, a six mini envelope a gift set to share with you. And I made these uh, cute little mini envelopes using one 12 by 12 paper. And I made them in three different sizes and I was able to get uh, six envelopes. And I just thought it was a, perf a perfect little gift set if you wanted to gift um, a little envelope pack to one of your friends. Um, It'd be just a great way to gift and it's packaged um, in another pocket that I've put uh, that I've made using a six by six paper to store the uh, envelopes inside and I think this would also make a great way uh, for you if you do craft fairs you could have these um, package uh, in a, if you do craft fairs I'm um, just a really cute little pack and I'm going to show you uh, the envelopes and then I'm going to show you how you can make these with one piece of 12 by 12 paper and um, you can just use single sided paper as a single sided 12 by 12 um, if you have um, a whole heap of them so I've got them in this uh, little just a simple little pocket and I'll show you this one first and then I'll go ahead and show you the measurements so I did I stacked them together on top of the other and then I had some vellum strip of um, pieces of vellum and I just uh, wrapped it around to uh, keep it together and then added a little glue dot to uh, hold the vellum strip and it just looks so pretty uh, really cute in um, as a pack and then it just slides in this cute little pocket and then you can just use some twine like I have with a little gift tag and then you can gift this or you can keep these for yourself and keep these envelopes um, for your projects this is another one and i'm going to have these in my shop as well so i'll have um, a pack of the set um, exactly packaged like this with a little tag um, you'll get a random printed uh, envelope gift set if you wanted to purchase the ones that i've made and this is another one so this one will, will be in my shop as well as this set here and it's just uh, lovely colors so let me um, take out the um, film strip and show you the sizes and how they look like so again there's six envelopes there's two little ones here like little coin envelopes and then it just opens up like that it's got a lovely opening and i have done uh, these envelopes in my other videos um, so i have done this size in my, one of my videos and i've also done this size as well and you get three of these sizes and um, I just wanted to try and make it with a 12 by 12 paper and see how many I can make. And I was quite happy with the sizes and measurements. So these ones here, I did make one a while back in one of my videos. Um, so it is like this one here. The difference with this one, I made it a little shaker with a little window. And I just thought that was just so much fun to put together. And then, you know, you put your uh, goodies in there and you can still see through. And you still got the sequence um, just to... Um, add some fun little colors to the envelope and I added a little tag and made one little flower and I'll put the link to this video down below if you wanted to make one like this with a little window or a shaker window so I just wanted to show you that one and these envelopes let me just show you these ones these are the three you can make as well so it's nice it's all coordinates together and this one here I also have the another video with these envelopes i'll put that link down below as well and these make uh, cute little envelopes for note cards if you have a little card you can put that in there uh, so i'll just show you also uh, in my last video i made these three a little pocket uh sort of uh, little gift packs and you can make three of these with one piece of 12 by 12 paper and in one of the projects, uh, it's got a little flip page here. And then there was this envelope um, to create as a little flip page for a little place to tuck some goodies. And this envelope size is this exact same size that I'm going to show you. So you can use this size in uh, one of these little pocket um, pocket pa packaging. So I just want to show you that as well. So there are two of those little mini coin envelope style and these three little mini note card envelopes. And then you can also make one of these slim sort of uh, envelopes as well with a wider um, opening and it just opens up like that. And um, I thought this is just a cute way if you wanted to add a letter inside 
you can add these to a traveler's notebook um, I have here uh, a slimline journal junk journal shabby style a journal that I'd made as well and this envelope would be a perfect size to fit inside the slim journal or if you have a traveler's notebook uh, in this size this would fit in there nicely um, as well so that would be a perfect little envelope for that so these are the three and all I've done was I just sort of pack, I packaged it this way I um, mean you can package however you like I just put that like that so that they sort of go on top of one another like that and then this one I just place that in the middle like that and then these two I just stack them together then place that in the center as well so it just sort of won't so it's not too bulky and just I just sort of spread them out and then I just wound the um, vellum around the envelope set and then just place it in the pocket so that's how I've done that so let me show you how easily you can make these no punch board needed um, you just need a scoreboard and uh, a paper trimmer so let me just grab my trimmer and show you the measurements and if you wanted to also make the um, pocket to store your little envelope set you'll just want to cut another piece of paper as six by six or use a paper from a six by six paper pad um, to make the pocket insert so I have here a 12 by 12 paper and you're just going to uh, cut it in half so you're gonna get uh, you want to line it on the six inch side so we're gonna line it on the six inch mark like that and we're going to cut that in half I'll put that one to the side with this one here we'll turn this around and we're going to line it again on the six inch mark and we're going to cut that in half so you'll have one piece now at six by six inches and now we're going to grab this one and slide it across you're going to line this on the three inch side and we're going to cut that in half and you'll get two pieces now um, at three inches by six inches put that together we're going to grab the next long piece and we're going to line that again on the now uh, we're going to line this on the four inch mark and we're going to cut that out and we're going to do that the same again and bring it over to the four inch mark again and cut that so you'll have three pieces now you have three pieces um, at four inches by six inches so I'm just gonna grab my mini scoreboard so what we'll do I'm gonna just put them together and then you've got this one and then you have the six inch uh, six by six and you have this piece we'll put that to the side and let's make the We'll make uh, okay we'll do this along one first the six by six and all the scoring is the same so the measurements to score each of your uh, papers that you've cut out will be exactly the same it's just the sizes will be different so we're going to line your first piece uh, and on the six inch side and we are going to score at three eighth of an inch and you're going to do that on both sides so you're going to go in three eighth of an inch at both ends so i'm just going to turn this around and score that as well three eight so I'm just going to also point out you can if you want um, so I have here a three eighth of an inch you can come out a bit and score it at a quarter of an inch each side if you want and that will just make your envelope a little bit bigger but I want it to fit inside this uh, pocket uh, so if you want to fit inside that pocket you can go in at three eighth of an inch and now we're going to turn this around now we're going to score at two and a quarter of an inch and five inches so that one's done and you're just going to repeat that with all of your papers um, so on the you're going to line all the shorter sides uh, sorry on the top and we're going to score on the longer piece down so again three eighth of an inch and then the other side three eighth of an inch and then we're going to line this up on the six inch and again two and a quarter inches and five inches oops 
so this paper is the four by six inches so let's grab the next uh, four by six and again on the four inch side you're just going to do the same thing three-eighths of an inch two and a quarter and five in a bit more and I'm just going to do the same with the um, other three pieces quickly I'll just go this way And while I've got my scoreboard out, I'll, I'll grab the 6x6 uh, six six paper to create the pocket insert as well. And all we're going to do here is you're going to line it on one, one side and we are going to score at a quarter of an inch on each side. So uh, one side, quarter of an inch. I'm going to turn this around and also score that at a quarter of an inch. And then I'm just going to fold the paper over in half. So you've got the score lines um, along here and then you're going to fold your paper in half. So we'll put that to the side and we'll do that pop one last. Alright, uh, so let me just group everything together. Just makes it easy. Uh, so I find it easier to have the uh, shorter part where we did the shorter score line, I'm going to have them facing down this way. So it's just easy when I want to cut it, I know where I'm cutting. So I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to grab the first piece, which was a, um, the 6 by 6 paper. And we are going to cut along that score line all the way till we get to there. And we'll do that to both sides. So let's start with this side first. And then I'm just going to angle cut that out. Come around this way and angle cut that part. Then come back around this way and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Remove this strip. And angle cut that. So we're just doing exactly the same as we had done on the other side. And then cut that out. So now that is your shape. And this part here, we're going to go now onto this part and you can grab your circle punch and create a thumb notch if you wanted to and just uh, find your centre and create a thumb notch. And then we're going to fold these two little tabs over. And actually what I might just do, I might corner around these two corners. I'm just using the um, We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner rounder punch and you get three different sizes. I'll use the largest size to create the uh, neat in the corners. And then I'm going to fold this one over. So now you've got your uh, flaps on the inside, you've got that folded over. And then we're just going to now adhere it to create the envelope. Just using your preferred adhesive. And I'm just going to glue that tab and this tab. And bring it up. And then seal that off. And then we can just fold this over now to create the closure for the envelope. So now you've got your slimline envelope complete and then you're going to grab your next piece uh, of paper that's a four by six and you're just going to do exactly the same 
on the longer part here, you're going to cut this one out. I'm oh, so sorry about that. My little boy, I think, has seen someone walk past. Um, along past the house. So I'm just going to do the same as we had done the other one. Now, I'm not going to do all the envelopes. I'm just going to do a couple of these ones just so you have an idea of how they look like in size. So I'm just going to corner around the top where the closure is. And then I'm just going to create the thumb notch down here. Not messy. Fold over my tabs. And you've got yourself your smaller size for like your little note cards if you want to add a note card. I don't think it's big enough for a gift card though. I haven't actually checked to see if it will fit a gift card in here. So this is the next size. Fold that over. So now that's the next size, and that'll be the same with the other two. You just repeat that with the other two piece, uh, the other two four by six papers, and you get the three of those. So I won't do those. And then this is your uh, little smaller mini coin envelope size. So I'll just do that one. Just so you can see if you want me to, if you want to see me do another one. And these envelopes are fun to make like on a rainy day or if you don't really want to do a lot of crafting, but you still want to create something you can make a bunch of these using your tour by tour papers and just have them ready especially for gifts or you want to get some envelopes for to a crafty friend and these little corn envelopes these will be perfect to add like little handmade jewelry you can add some jewelry in here little Packs of sequins, buttons, little mini die cuts. Um, you can even use these little envelopes for advent calendars. You can make uh, a whole heap of these for uh, advent calendars. And um, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. This would be great to make these cute little mini envelopes uh, for Valentine's Day advent calendar. And, Put some fun little uh, Valentine's theme goodies inside these uh, little mini envelopes. All right, so that is uh, the little mini one. I won't do this one, but um, when you've got yours, you can continue making the rest. So these are the uh, three envelope sizes you can make. And what's great as well with these envelopes, you don't have to make them the same set like I had uh, just shown you. You could make... Uh, four of these with the tour by tour paper if you wanted to not make those you can make four of these you could make um six of these sizes with a tour by tour if you don't want to make any of these sizes with this size here you can make eight of these with one piece of tour by tour paper or, or you could just make you can decide however you want to make your envelope sizes with that one piece of tour by tour paper and just decide how many you want to make for each one because um that's the fun part you can just make whatever sizes you want and you can still make them into a little gift set so that is um one of the great things about that these sizes that i've put together uh, so now let's make the pocket insert if you wanted to do that again it's very simple we've already done all the scoring and just simply folding the paper in half we're just going to remove um two of these little pieces out off um, and remove them I'm just going to cut along here. I'm going to do the same and do my little angle cutting. And I'll remove this one. Okay, 
Okay, and then again, let's just fold the little tiny little side flaps over. And this is just a really thin scrapbook paper. I didn't use any of the heavy weight paper, just a thin scrapbook paper just to create a little pocket. And I just so happened to find a piece that coordinates with the envelope set. So there we have your uh, pocket insert. It's nice and wide. It will fit the little set. I haven't got them all made, but let's just put these ones in here that I have. So all you do then is just... When you've completed your set you just pop them in there and then you cut yourself a little pocket insert to store your little envelope gift set so this is just a quick little project for you if you just want to make something quick you don't want to fuss around with too much uh, crafting okay, so let me just bring these all over so you can see uh, so these are the ones that i've made i'm going to also have these listed in my shop uh, you get a random printed set with a little pocket insert and the little tag that um, I had wrapped around the pocket as well. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this really fun, simple, quick tutorial, and I'll see you soon with uh, some fun, shabby style vintage uh, projects. Uh, my next project, just to let you know, I'm going to be doing the fabric cluster uh, snippet embellishments. Uh, I've had a few of you asking uh, how to make them, so that will be my next video, and I can't wait to share with you how easy it is you can make those little snippet uh, embellishments. Uh, I don't know if I have one here. I've got, I'll do so it's these ones here. So I'm going to show you how to make these. So hopefully I'll see you in, uh, in that video and you'll join me then and I'll see you all then. Bye for now.